Hello and welcome to module two in our first course in introductory business statistics. This module is really focused on descriptive statistics. Specifically here we're going to be looking at uh, graphical summaries and perhaps a little bit of tabular summaries as well. What this means, uh, descriptive statistics will look both at graphical and later module three will look at numerical. What we're getting at now is this extremely important part of statistics, which is I think is so frequently overlooked in terms of its importance, but it's the communication side of it. We will learn throughout this course all different ways of analyzing data and looking at different probability distributions and how to calculate all kinds of probabilities of different things occurring in different circumstances, etc, etc, etc. One of the most important aspects of this entire field of study is when we do all of the analysis and we have all of this information that we've, we've pulled out of a data set, how can we communicate that to other people? What's the point of doing it if it's just going to be for ourselves, right? We want to be able to communicate that information. So when we look at descriptive statistics, particularly in graphical summaries, we're going to be looking at ways that we can communicate data in very simple ways that whoever is the reader, whoever is looking at it, will very quickly be able to grasp some important concept or some important aspect of that particular data set. So you as the analyst or the researcher, you might have a spreadsheet full of information, full of data. Not everybody wants to see that. You don't want to put that whole spreadsheet into your report and say, here's the data, so look, at, look at what we saw. You might be better off to say, you know, here's, here's a pie chart. You know, this represents all of my observations. Uh, here, this is, uh, I don't know, 20% was means this. And, and here we have another another segment, uh, I don't know, 40% was, was this, whatever your criteria is. And then the remaining, uh, what do we have over here, another 40%. So here I can make a pie chart. It's visual. Usually it's got lots of nice colors in it. It's something that'll pop out to the reader and I can look at that and I can quickly see how the data set is divided into these different groups or categories. And so it goes without saying perhaps at this point that this is appropriate for categorical data. So having already looked in module one at categorical data, quantitative data, and all of the different measurement scales, that's all gonna flow into this module two in determining what are some of the better or more appropriate ways of graphically conveying information contained in your data set. So we'll have pie charts like this one. We'll look at bar graphs where the different heights have some particular meaning. We'll look at dot plots. We'll have uh, some label here, A, B, C, D, maybe these are numbers. And the height of those dots has some particular meaning. Maybe we'll look at um, multiple variables at the same time. So maybe I can do a bar chart. And red, this is variable one, looks something like this and I want to compare that against some other variable and so it looks like this. I don't know, we're just making stuff up here. But there's many different ways that we can go about communicating our data. Oh, let's not forget discrete. These might be discrete information or time series. Maybe I have this as time, right? And I want to show how a variable changes over time. The list goes on. There'll be a number of different uh, different methods, different strategies that we'll look at for communicating, easily communicating uh, important aspects, features, or characteristics of your data set. So this is what module two is going to be about. Um, hopefully it's uh, a little bit more interesting because we get to draw some pictures and use our colors. 
uh, and uh, it will be a, one of the most important parts of, of this module, uh, learning how to communicate uh, your data set. I can't stress that enough. Okay, good. I hope that it's valuable. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let's get into our problems.